good while. A very good while. I haven't done a YouTube channel in a very good while, and... <gasps> Yuki! You gave me a spot! Anybody, if anybody who is not sure who Yuki is, Yuki is my four-year-old cat who's asleep on my Midsummer Night Stream script because I am an act, well, I'm an actor, I'm basically, I'm a student studying acting and she's on my script that I have to learn and now I'm gonna have kitty cat hairs on my script because I'm already coming down the cold because look at it, it doesn't really look like it doesn't look like June. Literally, it looks like September or November, and basically, I've never seen it rain in June. It's supposed to be warm, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm sitting in bed and just like, I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> it's either my cat making me sneeze with all the cat hair, or I'm actually getting a cold. So. I don't know what's going on with my hair, but I think I've got, like, I think I've got bedroom hair. <laughs> anyway, and to the actual video. This is not, a, this is actually not offending people, or this is, like, no offense to anyone, or anything like that. Um, this is just my opinion on how I f feel about this situation and how, um, what my opinion of it is, and it's just, it's not offending anyone in any way, it's just me talking about this situation. Apparently what it is, is that I see a lot of things are about autism, and it's a very good thing to raise awareness about it, and, and how other people are actually dealing with it, and that's what it's all about. With autism, it's... It affects, it, it affects people in like many, many, many ways. And you can either cope with it really, really good, like you can either be alright with coping with it, or you can either cope with it very well, or you can either cope with your situation and diagnosis really, really badly. And it's all about just coping with it and how you cope with it, cope with it and how you actually see it, how you see yourself. Um, so basically, I've always seen... Asperger's, uh, Asperger's autism, an obstacle. I've always seen it as an obstacle. I've never, never really wanted to let it define me. I think there has been a time where I actually did let it define me, and I let it define me for a very long time. Um, and I just got really tired of it. I made a really big mistake. Because I've let it define me, um, but basically that's how I see my autism Asperger's skill, Asperger's. So basically Asperger's is a lower form of autism. Basically Asperger's syndrome is autism but it's a high function autism, so basically that means you are basically haven't got the full blown of autism so basically you are sorry i keep saying basically a lot basically um uh, i keep saying basically <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> asperger's syndrome is a high fun is a high functional is i it's a high functional autism so you, you're still autistic, it's still autism, but it's not exactly the full-blown, and the scale is really, 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 really huge, and basically it's more of how you deal with your autism, how you see your autism, your specific type of autism, and your the symptoms that you have, either you tap, you, you feel, you sense, you, you know, smell, taste, you know, um, touch. Because everyone who has autism do that, but they only do that to either a big or small, um, big or small extent.
So they either do it a lot or they either don't do it that much at all. See with my, see I've got Asperger's syndrome which is a high functional, which is high functional autism and this is what my, mostly my YouTubes are about. Is, um, it has been quite a few videos about my autism and how I'm dealing with it, but it's also about other things too. It's about reactions, it's about raising awareness for different things. Um, it's also about gaming, there's poetry involved. So there's also a lot about this, but I think this this particular subject is, has been about me or about autism for quite a bit. <laughs> and it, it is changing, it's going on to a different thing. Um, but um, yeah, what I find is that there's a lot of There's a lot of um, people calling Asperger's Aspies now on the on on YouTube channels and everything. And me personally, I don't specifically like the word Aspies because a lot of people struggle struggle actually pronouncing the word Asperger's. Now, I'm one of those lucky few that actually can pronounce it and actually can say it, but they, they I understand why they call it Aspies because it, it's a shorter word for it, but it still means the same thing, but I feel and see it's very stereotypical, and basically people experience their Asperger's or autism differently, um, they cope with it differently, they... So other people may not really be offended by it, other people may not even think anything of it, and other people are just raising awareness. So it's like, it's like that, but I specifically, this is my view, point of view on the word Aspies. I do not like the term Aspies. I, every time when I think of the word, I, I just, um, it makes me think of it as a disease, like, like not human, like a disease, and it's like, I can't explain it, I just, it makes me think of my audiochlorosis, and I don't even know what my autochlorosis is, I just, it's, it doesn't define me who I am, even though I am definitely 100% in the future going to lose my hearing in both ears. It, it's kind of like, it, it, it doesn't, it makes me feel not human, like, like it's a transmitting disease every time I see the word Aspies or hear it. Um, I see Aspe I see Asperger's Asperger's syndrome autism like an obstacle. Um, I see it as an obstacle. Um, I see it kind of like how mental health is. And yes, um, autism, because it is a mental disability and how we learn and everything's a learning curve and we may not learn everything the same way. We always have a different way of learning. So it's like, we can either be very fast at learning something, a particular specific something, and then really slow at learning the rest. So it, it really, really varies on how we learn um, and how we cope with it. But because it's a mental disability,